Hey guys, what's happening? It's Philip from the Honda Resource coming back on another all wheel drive Civic video. The last time I went to the track over at Import Showdown, uh, we made a couple passes over there and it did really good for the, like, the first two passes. Made a 944 and a 940 pass, so it was pretty solid. We tried to turn up the boost and then uh, turbo fell for whatever reason. I don't know why, but it did. It's, I have a Precision 64 66. It was still under warranty, so I sent it back into Precision, and today, I just got back my replacement turbo. So here it is, boys, a brand new Precision 6466. It, they didn't even uh, send me back my turbos. This is literally a, a brand new unit. I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, I went ahead and opened it up earlier and inspected it. They even sent me like a new, a new gasket for the, the drain, so heck yeah. I sent it in about two weeks ago. Honestly, I was a little less than happy with their communication because I've heard absolutely nothing out of Precision. I even tried to call them a couple times, couldn't get anybody on the phone. Miraculously today, it, it shows up. So, I don't know. Communication is uh, leaves a lot to be desired, but, I mean, who can argue with a brand new turbo for no cost? I mean, that's... That's pretty amazing. Uh, granted, the turbo was less than a year old, and it probably only had, I don't know, 15 passes on it total. So that's shout out to Precision, man. That's can't beat that. I think that's where it needs to be. Now I just gotta lock it down. I'm so happy that Precision helped me out the way they did, man. This is, it's truly a, a blessing, man. Cause Would you wanna go to Florida next weekend if I can go? Cleason cars? Oh, shit. Never mind. What day? It's Saturday, I think, but it's fine. Here in the day, or is it? Babe, it's nine hours there. Uh. <laughs> it's almost a Tampa. It's fine, really. I don't, I'm not worried about it. Go! Mm -mm. Nope, I'll go to another race somewhere else, some other time. No! We it is fine. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. I'm not missing my baby's birthday party. All right, so you can see I got the turbo back on the car now, and now I guess I can start it up. I've got the all exhaust back on, the old lines on, all the um, push lock lines and all that stuff. So hopefully it's good to go. We'll find out. So as you can see, the car's running again. I'm pretty ecstatic, man. Well, it was already running. It was still running without the turbo on it, but I had to take the uh, oil supply line and put it like up in where the oil cap would go just so it would put the oil back in the motor. And I actually had squirted some oil in here. So that's probably what you see like burning off. You can see any little smoke, but. So I got to get it out of here and get it cleaned up. The turbo's on there. Everything seems to be doing good. So I'm really excited about that. Hopefully tomorrow, I can actually get it out and drive it around a little bit 
make sure it's getting in boost, make sure it's getting on two step, doing all the things it's supposed to do. up on two step. That would make sense. Yeah. The RPF ones on it took uh, Cody and Brian for a ride, which you saw there. So uh, I think that the speed sensor is going bad. It was uh, just noticed a minute ago that speed wasn't registering, and I think that's why it was cutting out. So got to change the speed sensor, diagnose what's going on with that, and get it working properly. That way, it'll because whenever it's cutting out, it's like it goes into two step. So that's why it's it's cutting out. So little issues nothing major once I get the speed sensor stuff situated I think it's gonna be just fine at least I kind of have an idea about what's wrong with it turbo seems to be doing fine it's building boost fine it's getting on two-step doing all the things it's supposed to do so that's awesome but also on the EG like I said before I am thinking about putting it for sale uh, asking price would be like 30,000 I got a full breakdown if you'd like to break down just check out the description on the playlist the playlist for the green dragon and there's a full breakdown pretty much all the parts that are on the car i also had some people interested in doing a raffle 
the only way I can make it worth my while is to do. So I guess I could do 350 spots at $100 a piece, uh, do free shipping anywhere in the US or something, I don't know. So let me know in the comments, guys, what you think I should do. I, I definitely think it's gonna be in my best interest to sell it right now, so. You know, it sucks, I hate it, but life goes on and there's always more cars to build. So that'll help me put me in a better situation financially so that I can progress with my personal growth. Anyways guys, thanks for watching the video. Like I said, comment below, let me know what you think. And make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. It's three things don't cost you anything. It really helps me out. So appreciate it. See you on another one. Peace.